All right, guys, it is time to do a product review. And uh, honestly, I don't know what I'm getting into here. <laughs> um, but tomorrow I'm, I'm taking my saddle out for the first time. I'll be doing a product review on that. So like, subscribe, share, stay tuned because I will be doing a, uh, a full review on the XOP, I believe it's called the Renegade, the XOP Renegade saddle. So, but, as a saddle hunter now, I have to have a backpack, right? <laughs> because I have to have a way to get these in and out of the woods. I'm 47 years old. I, I, I'm so confident that I'm not nimble enough to one stick it that I'm not even gonna try. So what I have here are Hawk Helium 20 inch climbing sticks with the Helium platform. And basically I put a, um, an aider, I did a hand uh, I did a uh, homemade aider. I'll make a video on how I did that as well. But, um, so here's the backpack, guys. And I gotta tell you, it's it's easy to spend 300 bucks on a backpack. It's pretty easy to spend 200 bucks on a backpack. In fact, it's really nothing to spend 150 bucks on a backpack. But what about 30 bucks? What about 30 bucks? What I got here, this is called a Fielding Pro Series backpack uh, brought to you by none other than Walmart. And this was 30 bucks, and here's why I got it. I got it because it's it's small, all right? I'm hunting six acres 100 yards behind my house here tomorrow, right? And um, I have private land of my own that I don't need. Um, I'm not carrying a ton with me. I'm never more than 250 yards from uh, my cabin on my own land and the pu the public land that's nearby um, I don't do all day sits on the public land except during gun season so so okay um, so here's why I bought this this has clips on the back of it that I can that I'm hoping I can clip a platform to I'm probably still gonna go even though I got the helium platform I still think I'm gonna go with a bigger platform yet I'll, I'll know more tomorrow yeah, but it also has clips on the bottom that I can clip my uh, sticks to, hopefully. I'm hoping these straps are long enough. And here comes the train. Let me just cut this off real quick. Okay, well, how about we just shut the garage door? That works too. So, um, okay, so this is actually, so this is called the Pronghorn Day Pack. If you're looking it up online, it's called the Pronghorn Day Pack. And look at that, it's almost like I got this uh, camo undershirt from Walmart too or something. Pretty, <laughs> pretty weird, because I bought this like two or three years ago. So, um, so this is the Pronghorn Day Pack. Not huge by any means. I don't know if the dimensions are on here, but I'm gonna guess that this is under 18 inches. This is probably a 16, 17 inch pack, I'm guessing. Maybe it's 18, who knows? But it has a pocket on the front with the buckles that again, I think I can strap a, uh, um, I think I can strap a platform on the back. It has a couple of loops on the bottom corners here and it has the straps on the bottom that I'm hoping again, are these long enough to get around my Hawk Helium sticks? That is the question. So um, I'm gonna hook those up and let's see what happens. All right, so we're gonna answer the question. Are those straps big enough for the Hawk Helium climbing sticks? Again, I have four 20 inchers with the Helium platform and homemade aiders on it. And as you can see, it does hold them. So let's see how it fits my back. Okay, okay, so let's get an idea here of just how the fit up is with the pronghorn day pack. And again, this isn't something I'm packing out an elk with, guys. This is something for my local hunting. This has a, uh, a little chest strap come across, buckled right up. And let's see how it, uh, how it looks here. What do you think? I mean, you could do worse, right? 
There goes the motion detecting light in the garage here. Let me get that back up and running. All right, so here's the backpack and here's everything all hooked up to it. As, well, not everything, but the thing I was the most concerned about is are those straps long enough to get around a four pack of Hawk Helium 20 inch sticks? The answer is yes, they are. And that's good for me. So, and here's the thing is that as I, as I cinch this up, it's a little too much. Let me get my chest set here. Get this where I want it. So it rides perfectly on the small of my back. It rides perfectly on the small of my back. And I mean, of course there's a little movement because I don't have the, you know, coming around my, my midriff here. But uh, I would say overall, I could walk like this for quite some, some ways, I think. And so, guys, this is 30 bucks. I am not a fan of Walmart. I wanna support my local small shops, but the reality is I'm also a guy on a budget. Like many of you, I have to work for a living. YouTube ain't paying the bills here, and you could help that out by subscribing. So, um, so this right now is a win. Here's what concerns me um, off the bat with any cheap backpack is clips breaking. Is that clip gonna last? Are these clips gonna last? I don't know, time will tell. So, but I, I mean, you can see I still got the tags on this thing. This is a brand new setup and system for me. So plenty of pockets here. I can take all of my little, you know, razzle dazzle screw in hooks and everything so that um, I have my bow hanger and somewhere to hang my backpack. And you know, maybe I will put some things in there that I wouldn't normally take in the woods with me. What do you guys think? Would you take a chance on the pronghorn day pack? Here it is. Here it is, guys. A pronghorn day pack. Check this out. Right there, all right? You see these? Right there, all right? Let's look inside this thing, see what else we got going on in here. Okay guys, the Pronghorn Day Pack. Let's take a look at some other features here. And by the way, let's just, let's just get rid of those right away here. Okay, so, um, so we've noted that it has um, straps. We have straps on the side. Sorry guys, I need to do a better job here. We, so we have straps on the side with a pocket on a pocket, an open pocket on one side and a zip up pocket on the other. I can imagine gun hunting, that would be where I'd carry my extra mags for my 300 Savage. Yes, I shoot an old school Remington Game Master. Let's open this thing up. Well, let's open the front pocket first, right? We have this unzippered pocket. I'm not sure what this is about. But there is a, um, I don't know exactly what you might keep in this little spot here. Maybe it goes inside the pocket. Let's take a look. <clears throat> Okay, so looking inside, we have a mesh pocket right here, okay, and look, this might be kind of a perfect self-filming bag here. I don't like the Velcro, I will probably cut the Velcro off. Um, this, no doubt for your car keys cell phone, sandwich, all right, so that's your front pocket, and let's see what is in the main 
big pocket here. Let's just crack a look. Look at every nook and cranny in here. Good space. You're not sticking a bow in here, right? I mean, you know, even my T18 wouldn't fit in here. But here, let's do this. Let me, uh, let me just for the sake of scale, let's have a look at the T18. So there's the GearHead T18 right there. I almost wonder if that would strap on. I'm not going to try it, but just for the sake of scale, that probably is an 18 inch backpack. So what do you think? I mean, is this something you would even consider as a bow hunter, as a saddle hunter? You know, not all gear needs to be expensive. There's things we can definitely go a little bit cheaper on. And again, to my to my local sporting goods stores, I want to support you. And, and American manufacturers, I want to support you. I want to support the American worker. And you know, my bow is made right here in Wisconsin. You know, um, so yeah, I I don't like, I don't love that I bought a Chinese $30 thing that was probably made by Slave Labor. I don't love that. Um, but look, not all of us have thousands of dollars to wrap up in our gear. So for the budget sportsman, this is, this is an absolute option and nobody should be ashamed of using this. Um, I anticipate getting plenty of use out of this, actually. I anticipate that this is going to be very, very good for me. And I think it can be good for you too, but it's not for everybody. So leave a comment below, let me know what you think, and uh, like, subscribe, and share. And we'll see you on the next one. I'll tell you how this thing performed in the woods, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Thanks for watching, and uh, see you on the next one.